hello everybody and welcome to episode 18 of the let's play world i am up on top of the villager breeder and i've been putting carpet down on the blocks that are spawnable i've done it all the way around the whole villager breeder i also did it on top of the pumpkin farm um, to make sure everything is non-spawnable on the roof over there so uh yeah wool farm is definitely paying off Speaking of the wool farm, this thing is cooking right along and collecting a lot of wool, which is really awesome. And then I was puzzled by how to turn it off. And so what I did is uh, a little over-engineered, which is kind of the theme of my redstone, I guess. I'll show you what I did here. Basically, I had these little dots of redstone you know, ever so often, and if I connected them, then they wouldn't point into the dispensers. So what I did is I took my little line of redstone up here, and when I flip that switch, it turns on all of these sticky pistons, which extend a redstone block, which powers all of these so that they stop shearing. So, uh, yeah, looks like a lot, but it's really not that complicated, and it works. So um, there might have been a better way of doing this, but this is what I came up with. Let me show you guys another thing I've been working on here. So our uh, little room is here and that bridge we built is out in that direction. To the left, I built a room. And this room is kind of small and I've left a little space here. What I want to do is I want to capture a couple of piglins so that we can trade with them. These three holding cells have a hopper on the bottom that will catch whatever it is they drop and deposit it in this chest. And then I've put a few droppers up here. I want to see if I can rig up a system where I can just push a button and dispense gold to them. I'm not sure exactly how I will do that. I was thinking I could do like an elevator, but you can't do water in the nether, so this I will have to work on. But the first thing, of course, is we need to get a couple of piglins in here. So... Let's see if we can find a few. Like when you're actually looking for one, you can't find one. But when you don't want them out here, they're they're all over the place. There's one. If this guy wants to be our friend. Uh, excuse me. Hello. Ah, oh, here you guys all are, for some reason. I've got gold. Come on. Alright, get in there. Oh, gosh. Okay. Stay there, please. There. We're going to name this fellow Chad. Thanks for hanging out, Chad. Aha. Yes. This guy we're going to name Travis. Thanks for hanging out, Travis. In there. Oh, come on. Nice. This guy's going to be named Brody. Chad, Travis, and Brody, welcome to the piglin farm. Nice. So let me show you what I've done so far. I pulled the droppers from the top and I moved them down here. I'm hoping that they'll be able to pick up the items from this level and that way I can put a minecart here that will just load gold into some hoppers. Let me do that real quick here. I point hoppers into the droppers like so. There we go. Then the minecart would just go back and forth and load gold into the droppers. So far, so good. Now I have to figure out how to get the gold into this minecart. Okay, we have three droppers back here with 
hoppers running into them, and then the minecart will run back and forth. I've got the minecart coming all the way over here, and just like in the smelter, I built a little system to stop it if ever it's loading. And then from inside, I'll just put gold in this hopper, and that will load it up into the minecart that's going back and forth. Last thing I need to do is I need to put a button here, and that button will allow me to distribute gold to these guys. They're so noisy. It's it's awful. So I've got this thing all sealed up so that uh, piglins don't accidentally stop the minecart or anything like that. All right, I'm gonna put the minecart on, and that should start going back and forth. Yep, that looks promising. Okay, I made a little adjustment over here. Button is installed. Let's give this thing a proper test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one piece of gold in here. I can see that the comparator is on. Loaded it up real quick. And I assume it's putting it over here. So if I push this button, one of these guys should get a piece of gold. It's him. He's looking at it right now. He gave me something. And if I look in here, he gave me some soul sand. Great. That seems really promising. So, let's put more in here. I'm going to put half a stack of gold. Keep uh, thinking somebody's going to sneak up behind me because I'm opening up this chest and pissing people off. Okay, the cart should come back pretty quick. Did it all load? It did. That was fast. I assume that gold is distributed, and so if I hit this button, all three of them should get gold. At least two of them did. Hmm, so I wonder if this button is triggering his dispenser. Let me go take a look at that. Again. Those two got one. So I figured out the problem. I had the redstone block to power the track sitting right next to the hopper and so the hopper was locked and it wasn't picking anything up. So I'm just going to extend this by one and then we should be in good shape. Alright, let's give this another test. I'm going to put half a stack of gold or a quarter of a stack of gold in there. So that's going to load up. It'll come along and distribute it. Now, if I push this button, see if I can see all three of them at the same time here. Yep, all three of them got a piece of gold. All three of them gave me something. Blackstone. Obsidian. Let's try again. Nice. Quartz, some string, some nether brick. Awesome. So that is definitely working. All right, out of gold. So what do I get? Awesome. So I'm getting all of the stuff. This is really good. I'm getting spectral arrows. I'm getting crying obsidian. Uh, the water bottles. I haven't seen any soul speed, which was the whole reason I put the soul soil in the hallway. So I'll keep working on that. But yeah, this is awesome. This is a really cool uh, start here. I'm going to keep trading with these guys for a little bit and see if anything else pops up here. So I've gone through a couple of stacks of gold, and this is what I've ended up with. It's uh, all pretty good stuff. I finally got some soul speed boots. Pretty jazzed about that. I got... A full stack of spectral arrows. I got a couple of fire resistance potions, some ender pearls, which are useful. Tons of leather, uh, tons of quartz. 
um, tons of black stone. So yeah, I was really surprised by the quantities of some of these things. Like that's a lot of quartz. I mean, we could build something out of quartz really easily after some trading. Uh, I'm going to try these guys out, see how these things work. You can also get soul speed books. So these boots that I've got that I like, I could put the soul speed enchantment on those. Um, so I don't have to change shoes all the time. So I'm pretty happy with this. This is pretty cool. And I think, like, especially with the spectral arrows, I'll show you what those do if you don't know what they do. Hello? Like the one time I want to shoot somebody and everybody's gone. Okay, here we go. So if I shoot this guy, it puts a glow around him. And I can see that glow even through walls, which is pretty cool. Not sure how long it lasts. But uh yeah, it's a neat a neat effect. And then the soul speed enchantment is this. Makes me a little speedier. Nice. You can see the little souls escaping from the sand as I run over it. Well, this is weird. I logged out, and I must have logged out before the door closed, and like some blocks disappeared or something. See if I can just replace them, and if it will still work. Let's see here. Definitely not. It's crazy. There we go. Man, that was really broken. Somehow, like I was missing observers and stuff, and yeah, it was like this little stripe of redstone disappeared. That's very scary. Uh, to get at all this, obviously I had to tear the portal out, and so I might as well move the portal upstairs since that was the plan all along anyway. And let's make sure this thing connects the way it's supposed to. Doot. Fingers crossed. Nice. That's very good. All right. So now that we have the portal on the second floor, that means that we get to take it off of the wall of tasks. I'm also going to take uh, finish storage room off of there. I put windows in finally to match the portal. So we have kind of a purple theme going on along with our cyan. So yeah, this floor is basically done. We also get to remove trade with piglins. So another request I got was kill a wither. And that would be pretty worthwhile, because then we would end up with a beacon. I am not having a ton of luck with these wither skeletons. So fortresses, they tend to appear in stripes, so if you head north or south from an existing fortress, chances are that you'll run into another one. So I think I might do that. I might just explore a little bit and see what I can find. All right, I've gone about 100 blocks and I've found another crimson forest. Super treacherous getting across the kind of wasteland area. It was really uh, patchy. So I'm gonna keep going and hopefully not get murdered by a hoglin. Aha. Uh -huh. Right down there. That is tricky to get to. God, look at this. It's so precarious. Hmm. Shoot, I wonder if there's a simpler way to get down there. All right, let me backtrack a little bit and see. I'm way up above it. 
Yeah, let me explore a little bit more. Sweet. All right, let's see if we can explore this without dying. This is already better than the other one. Oh boy, that freaked me out. All right, let's here. Wow, okay, this is a much more interesting fortress. Yeah, we've got nether wart, we've got terrible sounds, jeepers. Diamond horse armor, that's pretty cool. More diamond horse armor. Definitely gonna have to come back with an empty inventory to explore this place. More diamond horse armor, love it. Diamonds. Man, that's really great. This is a much, much bigger fortress. Afraid I'm going to hit one of these pigmen. Uh-oh, we got blazes. Oh god. <laughs> Fight for my life. Oh gosh. Oof, that was really close. All right, we're just going to sit here and wait for everybody to chill out. Okay, I think I think we've all calmed down. Yeah, right? Oh gosh. Don't get near me. I don't want to hit you. Oh my gosh. And there's bunches of them out there. This looks a lot more promising than the other one. I'm pretty excited. There's one. Oh, good. And these guys are mad again. This is like the most dangerous one I've ever I've ever encountered. Oh man. Okay. All right. So that's one. Just need two more, and I can fight a wither. Don't think it's happening today. <laughs> This fortress is crazy big and crazy dangerous. You know, I wonder if this is two fortresses stuck together because it's just so enormous. It's really crazy. All right, can I hit these guys without hitting these guys? Try it. Hey, got lucky. 
you know, it's incredible. Like I've just got all these guys here and at the other fortress, I had basically none. Crazy how much there's three. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Yeah, it's crazy how fast stuff spawns here. This would probably be great if ever I wanted to do a farm or something, because there's just like mobs everywhere. And every time I walk to another part, so many things spawn. Like, look at this. This is crazy. I can't believe how many... Oh my gosh. <laughs> how many skeletons there are. Oh, this is not going to go well for me. <laughs> Boy, I don't know how I'm going to get back. I mean, look at this. There's three here, one down there, one, two, three, four-ish over there. Yeah, this is just insane. Another one over here. This is going to be tricky getting out of here. And get past this. This guy. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Oh jeez. Okay. I think I should probably go back to my base. Drop off some of my loot. And uh... Yeah, not press my luck much more here. I was getting three wither skulls in one visit. That was pretty incredible. And I would hate to lose those. So let's see if I can get back home safely here. All right, made it back to the other fortress. And what's crazy... Oh, had a visitor. I can't see it from here, but it, it's literally... The other fortress is literally just over there. So, uh... I could easily build a tunnel between these two and have a safer passage. All right, heading back to base. Man, that was crazy. That was just an insane fortress. We're really fortunate that we found that. Uh, besides the three wither skulls, on my way back, I stopped by the piglin farm and I got a Soul Speed 3 book so I can put those on my boots and we'll be super speedy when we're going through the nether. I will definitely have to get back over there to collect some of that loot and see if we can maybe make that place a little safer. I think that's where we're going to wrap it up this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.